Having an operator in your business is essential in most every single situation. Sure, there's the exception. We've all heard of businesses that is a single owner operator, maybe a publishing company, some type of simple SaaS or whatever that is. But in most situations, you need an operator. An operator, this term, means someone that is running the business, the day-to-day. -day. You, as the business owner, the entrepreneur, at some point, you're going to have to move away from that role. But finding an operator isn't always the easiest because you're entrusting your baby to them. Now, I say baby lightly because some people really see their business as their baby when in reality, your business is just your business. If you're finding your fulfillment in life and your meaning through your business, the end result of that is that you're going to become a workaholic. So you have to distract yourself from that end result. You have to detach yourself from that end result and make sure that the business isn't the thing that gives you fulfillment. And you have to find that operator, the person that meets and matches the values that you have. So let's talk about operators. And I'm saying this because recently in one of my companies, we changed operators. It's actually a really hard process, both mentally and emotionally. It's draining, it's difficult. And hopefully some of the things I share with you will be helpful. So one thing when you're looking for an operator, at least for me, the non-negotiable is that they have to be of high integrity. And this has to be someone that I would trust with my wife and kids. And they have to have that highest of integrity because they are gonna be running your company. They're gonna be slicing that thing open like a fish and they're gonna see what's inside. They're gonna have access to finances, to making decisions. They may be the face of the interactions with your employees or customers, vendors, whatever that looks like. So make sure you have someone of high integrity. The next, for me at least, is I want someone that's not going to be offended. Someone that can take uh, critical feedback and someone that can also give it. They shouldn't be a person that just rolls over and shouldn't be a person that runs away when the first thing goes wrong. And the last thing that I always look for is I want someone that is just a winner. Someone that is striving, someone that is trying, someone that has done something great. So for me and my companies, I've had several operators. The most recent operator that left one of my companies, she went and she's starting something herself. And I am so proud of her. It was a really difficult transition because she'd been with me for several years and I really do care about her. But seeing someone move on and tra transition and do their own thing is honestly one of the greatest achievements that I can see. Maybe I had a little piece in that, maybe I didn't, I don't know. But I do know that an operator for you and your business is absolutely essential. Now, one of the experiments that I'm running right now, and I'll have to update you this year as it goes on, is figuring out how to create a company with very decentralized people, meaning an operator that is a fractional operator and a fractional CMO and a fractional CFO and working in a, call it a sharpshooter, a marksman environment. And I'm hoping that something like this can get pieced together. Maybe it will work. Maybe I will fail completely. But really, is failure failure if you're, you know, learning something from it? I'd say it's not. So for you and your business, if you're looking for that growth this year, if you're looking to pull yourself out, to work less, to have less fulfillment or meaning in your business, if you're looking to actually see the business take off beyond you could ever imagine, an operator is essential. I can't give you a referral to a specific person, but hopefully the frameworks that I've shared with you of someone that is of high integrity, someone that can give feedback and take feedback, and someone that is striving, that is a fighter, someone that is winning, maybe that feedback will help you enough. Hope that this helps you grow your business.